It's uh, Scott Davis. Hey, you guys. Hey, you stole hey, my name, you Scott Davis. Uh, that's the <laughs> 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 uh, we've been talking about this most of the week at the site about what would happen with the name. I noticed. <laughs> there you go. I, f- I feel like this is how the world implodes. If two Scott Davises <laughs> get together, but you know, it's all exactly it's all good. <laughs> we mentioned it would have been awkward if we hadn't mentioned it. I'm sure we'd have all right. Got, I you know, had to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, watched it this morning really really enjoyed it. it i was saying to your lovely director about how it frustrated me as well because of the context of the history and and what it's about and everything else and it's a, a story that i didn't know too much about which i says maybe says a lot about you know what we know about history and everything else um i just wondered for you both how was it being part of this because there's so many parallels to to modern day and so many parallels to to what people are dealing with now in america and all over the world and how important that is for you as actors to to maybe showcase to younger audiences that this stuff has happened before and there's lessons to be learned uh, maybe lex i'll start with you it's incredibly relevant i'm unfortunate that it is still relevant but these are the types of stories that help us understand history um, and also understand the perspective of both sides, um, which someone mentioned earlier today that usually with these type of films, we rarely hear from the point of view of the white civil rights activists. And um, so this is a very unique one. Um, and I think a necessary one, it's, it's about time. Um, and to say that we also need help from our white colleagues and our friends and our families to help really move and push these stories along and and shed light on them and um what what bob does what lucas does as bob is incredible is just is acknowledge what happened wrong um in order to find change and and to to say what is right um so i think that part of it is very necessary and relevant and our audiences, all colors and backgrounds could learn a lot from. Yeah. And Lucas is same, same for you. I'm sure playing, playing the guy as well. Yeah. Well, and, and I, I, and then I got distracted listening to Lex's answer and then I kind of <laughs> forgot what exactly the question was. And, but, I don't well, let me know ask, if I answered it. No, no. Well, let me ask <laughs> no, you. Let me you ask, did a good job. Yes, you did a good job. Let me ask you this yeah. in terms of you as an actor playing a real person, in terms of your your process and stuff like that, it must be slightly different to to how you would prepare to play an X Men, for example. You know, this is a real mm. person with with real things and a real part of history. Um, does that does that yeah. change your your process or anything else? Because you obviously have have the research and and meeting the person, yeah. all that kind of stuff in in between. You know, what's, it's so funny. The actual the the the, the research isn't any different. <laughs> it's just that you the um, pressure that you put on yourself is way different and. Um, because you have a real person who's there, uh, still alive, and is on set. Well, he was on set just a couple of times, and he actually played him. He actually, no, he didn't play himself. He was in the movie in the lynching scene. If you look closely, if you look up pictures of him, he's oh. featured in that scene. Wow! So you can see him in the movie. So yeah, he was on set a couple of times, and uh, yeah, and the, the pressure's on not only him but people who knew him or um, are alive and can tell you if you did a good job or not. And all these things are irrelevant because those things don't matter, but you, you definitely think about those going into them. Yeah. And obviously this has been a historical movie in some respects. The, when you get to the end and you see the kind of the breakdown of what, what Bob did and his influence and how he touched people's lives and that kind of stuff, that in itself is such an amazing thing to be a part of, I would imagine, as as actors, not just the history, but in terms of him as a person and what he's done. Lex, how was that being involved in something like that where there is so much to to, to talk about? Yeah, I mean, it's bigger than ourselves. I think that's part a huge part of this business is and choosing a career like acting is you're always you have a duty to to fulfill and tell these stories um and do them justice i mean it's it's an honor to even be a part of something oh just a little brief moment in his life in bob's life um to help bring the story back to life since it is true um yeah, I just I lost my train of thought, but <laughs> I'll happens, let though. Lucas pick it up. <laughs> <You didn't get laughs> it's the it's the it's the, it's the Scott Davis pressure. That's what it is. That's why your mind's, yeah. your mind's going black. <laughs> uh, it's been a guys, long wish morning. 
I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> well, guys, it's lovely, lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time and uh, good Thanks, luck with the movie and everything. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey.